This is sad. It's sad. But what happens with karma? Karma is a bitch. Universal law is a bitch, man. And my hearts and prayers go out to those who continuously get away with things. That's the worst. I would much rather I do something and I get caught right there and it just tear me up right there immediately. But when you get up, when you get away with things, they start to compound for 30 years. You know how big that universal debt is? You got to pay. Now, a lot of people's coming up with conspiracy theories. Well, pa, you know, that's a black man and he did the liquor company and this and that. I say, listen, let me tell you something. This is just karma. If they would take down Weinstein, Weinstein, who's way bigger, was probably worth way more money than Puff. They take down Epstein. This is called this universal law. And nobody can escape universal law, no matter race, or no matter how much money you got. And I'm talking about on an individual basis. Because some will say, well, why do white people get away with slavery and all that? Well, the universal law and the karma and that. But hey, this is just what it is. This is what it is. These people... You know, you, you, you listen to Shine say that the man put the 10 years on Shine. Shine went down there and sat down there 10 years for something he did. The bodies that were lost uh, when it, at that party back in the 90s when he was about to lose it all, those nine children, the, the nine kids, the nine college kids that lost their lives in that stampede at that first party. And he bounced back from that. Mace getting cheated out of the deal. Craig Mack. I mean, just a list, a long list of bodies. And I mean, I just cannot imagine what he's going through. They found the pink cocaine in his hotel. Pink. Pink. He was probably trying to go up there. He was probably on his way to take himself out before he was intercepted by the feds. That's what I think. I think he had made it up in his mind that he was getting out of here. But it's crazy. And right now in 2024, the fame just does not look the same to me anymore. I don't give a damn about your fame. I really don't. It looks whack. It really looks whack to be famous to me now. It's like, I don't care. You know? I'm Generation X. I'm 47 years old. Coming up in the 80s and 90s. We adulated fame because nobody had nothing. There was no internet to communicate or learn how to get money.